came here and you ate the American food, what did you think of it? Did you like it? Yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Even though some some of them like, oh, what is this? You know, it's just like maybe some of them is like kind of too heavy for me, so it's just not my taste. But I mean, pretty much, I mean, everything is good. Hmm. But I do miss my food still. <laughs> Talk to us about the people over here. What's the difference between, from your perspective, knowing that you haven't been to every city in the United States of America, and each city ha holds its own type of ad attitude. Living here in Florida, what do you think of the people's mentality here in Florida as opposed to Indonesia? How is it different, shall I say? Yeah, it can be two, two days long. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, Let's. I mean, I mean it's just, just like generally, well, it's totally different. I mean. Like, how is it different? Tell us. As an American, we want to know. Plus and minus and everything, like, right? So, like, the, the good thing I like about over here is, like, the people are more blunt. Like, they know, they just say what they want to say, or, you know, they like it, they don't like it. They just say it, you know, so people know. But our Asians, some people are in Asian, it's like they are more caring about what are people feeling. Sometimes, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, probably, right? So sometimes you don't know what the other people thinking. But we are more taking care of other people's feeling. We just don't like just say it out loud. Oh, this is not going to be like this, or this is not the right thing or whatever, sometimes we just keep it quiet or maybe just say it nicely or something like that, but over here it's not like that. So Americans are pretty much very opinionated? Yeah, that too. And at the same time, because of the way they are like that, sometimes people are also not too care about other person. You know, you see what I'm saying? Sometimes so there's a positive and negative side of that. Yes. Now let's get back to those Asian girls dating black men questions that seem to be coming up a lot on your YouTube page. I've noticed that you've gotten quite a few emails where there are a lot of people that have seemed to agree with what your husband posted up his video back in 2010 and it's 2013. Actually today is, for the record, Sunday. January the 27th, 2013, and we like to time this so we can look back in the future, or look back from the future and, um, you know, remember where we are at a certain time. Tell me a little bit, what do you think of people that make comments on YouTube about Asian girls only go for white men? As a Chinese woman coming from Asia, how does that make you feel when you hear people over here say that you only prefer white men. How does that make you feel? Yeah, that's not probably true. Probably in some general perspective, of course, they, they're like saying, like, you know, uh, uh, they prefer the white rather than the colored people. But I mean, it just depends on the person, back to the person itself. You know, you just don't go marry somebody just because of the skin color. Cause there are bad people in every race, too. So. And so it's fair to say there is a lot of people that may have been Asian that married, pers you know, say a white person that the person may have been rude and abused her and cheated on her and stuff like that. So you can't judge someone in being good by just having lighter skin. Yeah, you cannot do that. Even though you married Chinese or, you know, you married your own race, sometimes that person also be in your own race. So. So just don't listen to some foolish opinions like that. <laughs> Would you, is it fair to say you think those people are smoking crack? Uh, <laughs> well, maybe. I never smoked crack before, so I don't know how it's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. I'm saying they're, they're smoking crack. Okay, now let's get into some of the misconceptions that people seem to have about um, Asian women and um, interracial um, datings and marriages. What do you say to the people that 
say that all women from overseas strictly want to marry an American so they can have a green card. How does that make you feel? Mm. Yeah. That's actually not really good to hear. Or it's just that they, maybe a lot of people are doing that so you cannot avoid the fact that people are doing that just for getting the green card. But, I mean, there's still some true people who fall in love and get married just to, you know, to be married and to be happy. It's not just about the green card. So I, I, I'm not sure if green card can make you happy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So you'd say that, you know, not everybody from overseas is dating people from overseas just to get a green card. Now, talk to us a little bit about um, what's the benefit of dating someone outside of your race. Give us one one benefit that you think. It's interesting. Because <laughs> maybe it's different, that's all. So maybe, I mean, for me, I think, like, you know, I just color of my life, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so it adds more color to your life? Yeah. But what else? Tell us a little bit else. In terms of what? Maybe the way they treat you as opposed to your traditional Chinese man in Asia versus an American person um, or someone outside of your race. What's the benefit that you've noticed about being married to an American as opposed to a Chinese man? Not saying that there's anything wrong with Chinese men, but just for the sake of conversation. <laughs> So you want me to lie? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want you to lie. Okay, it's like this. There's always have such a minus in every side, so that's just like... Uh, Chinese men are totally, not totally different, but I mean, pretty much... It's different, I guess. I mean, I used to have Chinese boyfriends too, and now I'm married to a black man. <laughs> Uh, black men are more, I mean, because of their Western culture, I guess. So when they love us, they like showing us more, you know, like, you know, in terms of touching and kissing and everything. And the Chinese people, I'm not saying all of them are like that or all of them are like this, but I mean, some of the Chinese people, they're showing they love you by taking care of you like for fighting you or just tag you and stuff like that. But they're not like really saying I love you or like hugging you in a public place or kissing you. That's one thing. Now, that was a very good answer. Let me ask you, let's say the, in contrast to that, what's one of the, you know, I want to say benefits, but what's one of the disadvantages of being married to someone of another culture, as to supposed to being married to someone who's Chinese. Oh, in my situation, the biggest advantage for me, one thing, I'm far away from my family because, <laughs> because I'm over here and my family is back there in Indonesia, so that is one of my kind of like, I'm I'm kind of like. How, when can I meet my family? It's like, you know, it's not like I can meet them or showing, their, showing them my love all the time like I used to do anymore. Yes, I know that's more of a kind of a, probably a locational question, but just suppose that you're in Indonesia right now, your home, and you're married to an American. Mm -hmm. What would be the disadvantage to be married to a... Um, American person as opposed to being married to a Chinese person? I don't know. I mean, if you were there, I think it would be fine, I guess. It's better like that. Of course, at the first time, my parents want me to, to be married to the same race to the Chinese too. It's just maybe it's just how it used to be. Everybody in our family or in my relatives and everybody can be married to Chinese. That's just how it is. Well, maybe I'm the one who is in a rebellion 
but I'm married to you, but I mean, we're doing pretty good, and my parents love you too, so it's going to be fun. So you would say, or is it fair for me to say that sometimes Asian parents can have a little bit of reserve because you marry someone outside of the culture and race, but once they see that that person treats you well and loves you and respects you, then your parents are very happy and they accept that person and they treat that person as part of the family with open arms. Yeah, I think as long as a parent, I mean, a parent, see that their children are happy in their lives, I don't think they keep continuing to hold their grudge. I mean, it's, 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 if, if they are a person like that, I mean, they just wasting their lives getting angry. <laughs> and when enjoying their life is wasting their time, you know, so don't be a person like that. Well said. And um, I would like to thank you, Fa Chen, for taking this time out of your schedule and answering these questions and speaking to your viewers on uh, your YouTube page, Tofu Princess. And we'd like to thank everybody who subscribed and who watches our videos. And we ask you in the future to please um, like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, leave your comments. We reply to all of them. Um, sometimes even the negative ones will send a private message. But we don't post up negativity on a page because we like to keep everything happy and positive. So once again, Fauci, I'd like to thank you. And I look forward to uh, asking you more questions because your followers do have a lot of questions and um, unanswered questions about Asian girls and black dating. So thank you for taking your time out today. No problem. And uh, I just want to say you. that you look beautiful. <laughs> thank you. How do you say goodbye in Chinese? Thank you. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Thank you. Bye-bye.